Let's take a look at how to nest functions in JavaScript. Nesting functions is the process of adding functions inside of other functions. This is done to organize the code or to add more complex functionality. If you already have coding experience, then you probably already know this concept. Let's start by creating a regular function called say hi, and this will have no parameters. Inside this function, I'll add a console log statement, which prints to the console the string of hi. Now to make sure this code is executed, make sure to call this function by writing the function name and add parentheses right after. If I save the file, of course we get hi in the console just as expected. Now to nest the function, inside our say hi function, I can add another function, but this time I'm going to call it say hello. And inside this function, I'll add a console log statement again, and this time we're going to print hello. Of course, make sure to call this function, and if I save the file, of course, this will work as well. Now, technically, you can nest your functions as much as you want. So I can define another function over here called say world, and this will also have a console log. And then we can call this function using its name. However, I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's going to make your code a lot more difficult to read. Instead, what I recommend doing is defining your functions outside. So I can take the say hello function and define it outside. I can also do the same for the say world function and I'll define this outside. So right after here and I can clear out all the spaces. Now this is instantly a lot more readable and you still achieve the same functionality. Finally, I want to talk about calling a function inside of itself. So inside this say hi function, I can go ahead and write its own name. So say hi and add parentheses. This process is called recursion and in our current code, the way this will work is it will first console log hi because of course it was called down here, then it will call itself again. Of course, this will cause it to console log again and call itself again, which brings me on to why you should never implement recursion like this. This right here is basically an infinite loop and if I save my file, my console will be filled with a bunch of strings. Now to avoid this, you would of course have some sort of conditions. Now I haven't explained conditions yet, but the idea is your code will first check for something before actually calling itself again like this. 